In the structure of behavior, Merleau-Ponty put forward what has been called a gestalt ontology. In gestalt ontology, wholes are primary. Since gestalts are embodied and perceptual for Merleau-Ponty in the structure of behavior, consciousness and nature are simply degrees of integration and mutual dependence within interlocking gestalts. They are not two separate things with different realities. Nature is a gestalt, embodiment is a gestalt, creativity is a gestalt, and consciousness is a gestalt. For this reason, Merleau-Ponty is entitled to make this metaphor between the musical unity of a melody and the gestalt unities within nature and consciousness. He says, Here the coordinated elements are not only coupled with each other, they constitute together, by their very union, a whole which has its proper law and which manifests it as soon as the first elements of excitation are given, just as the first notes of a melody assign a certain mode of resolution to the whole. While the notes taken separately have an equivocal signification, being capable of entering into an infinity of different ensembles, in the melody each one is demanded by the context and contributes its part in expressing something which is not contained in any one of them, and which binds them together internally. Inversely, the same melody can be played two times without the two versions having a single common element if it has been transposed. Coordination is now the creation of a unity of meaning which is expressed in the juxtaposed parts the creation of certain relations which owe nothing to the materiality of the terms which they unite. What Merleau-Ponty is showing here is that when we understand a melody, it's not because we hear each note as having its own reality and identity on its own. We hear the notes as having their reality within the melody. Otherwise, when we hear the same note in two different melodies, we would take that note to be the identical note when in fact we hear that note as being particular to that melody. If I play this same note, I don't identify it as the same note. When I hear this note in the major chord, I hear it in relation to these other notes that it's in harmony with. But when I hear it in another key, I hear it in relation to these notes. So the same note does not have an equivalent value within two different melodies. And inversely, he says, we can play the same melody two times without having any common element if we transpose it. So again, we can play and then move that to a totally different key. Then we're playing the exact same melody, but none of the notes are the same. The coordination is a unity of meaning or a sense-making structure rather than something tied to the parts themselves or arising from parts in isolation. The notes within the melody determine a certain mode of resolution of the whole. When we play we hear the whole melody that can come from that, all of the possible notes that would still be harmonically related to it. So there's this proper law, this very union that constitutes the notes that binds them together internally, which is this melodic element of the harmony. And that relation between the harmonic elements of that melody can be transposed from one key to another. It can be modulated from one key to another. So I can play, or I can play, or I can play, 
the same structure is being transposed into different material. Its coordination and its unity express that internal binding that the parts have to one another as parts of a whole.